what started as a simple tweet has now evolved into the most anticipated project of 2025. After years of working behind the scenes, The Boring Company made headlines in 2024 after expanding its Las Vegas Convention Center tunnels to locations like the University of Nevada and Westgate Resort. But what if I told you these achievements are just the foundation for a series of groundbreaking projects that Elon Musk has in store for 2025? Imagine self-driving cars, the fastest tunneling machines, an extensive network of underground tunnels, and more, all at incredibly low costs. This video will take you behind the scenes of everything we can expect in 2025. Are you ready? Let's dive in. On December 17, 2016, Elon Musk was probably stuck in Los Angeles traffic when he tweeted something out of pure frustration. Traffic is driving me nuts. I'm going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. For most people, that would have been the end of it. Just another random thought shared online. But Musk isn't most people. Minutes later, it seemed like he had already started thinking about how to make it happen. That one tweet turned out to be the beginning of The Boring Company, one of Musk's boldest and most surprising ideas yet. The Boring Company was created to solve a problem nearly everyone can relate to, sitting in traffic. Musk's idea is simple. If roads are too crowded, why not go underground? The goal is to build a network of tunnels that allow cars and public transport to move at high speeds without the usual congestion. Instead of getting stuck on surface streets, vehicles would zip through underground loops, cutting commute times dramatically. Musk sees this as a way to not only make travel faster, but also reduce the stress and frustration that come with it. But compared to other companies owned by Elon Musk, the boring company isn't as popular. If Tesla is the flashy sports car and SpaceX is the rocket-fueled dream of Mars, the boring company is the quiet sibling that's been hard at work underground. Literally, while it's still Elon Musk's most mysterious venture to the average person, that's about to change in 2025. And where better to showcase the boring company's true potential than Las Vegas, the very city where the company transitioned from digging experimental tunnels under the SpaceX parking lot to creating actual infrastructure people use daily. For those who don't know about this, here's a quick run-through. The Las Vegas Convention Center, LVCC, Loop, started back in 2020 at 3150 Paradise Road in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a simple but effective underground transit system connecting the Las Vegas Convention Center to nearby hotels. But it didn't stop there. In 2024, only four years later, this loop expanded to connect the convention center to new stations like the Westgate, Riviera, Resorts World, and Encore Hotels. Pretty cool, right? But the real excitement lies in what's coming next. Looking at this map, we can see the existing tunnels marked in light blue and the future tunnels highlighted in dark blue. While connecting the convention center with nearby hotels will undoubtedly solve some transportation issues, it still keeps the boring company's operations confined to a relatively relatively small area. However, as you can see, their plans extend far beyond this initial scope. The real expansion begins with the orange line on the map, which represents a new tunnel currently under construction. It runs from the convention center straight to Las Vegas International Airport along Paradise Road. This tunnel will remain the primary focus of the Boring Company this year, as it marks its next significant step. How? This project is more than just an addition. It's a stepping stone for the Boring Company to expand into the broader city. Choosing Paradise Road was a smart decision. Unlike the busy and densely packed Las Vegas Boulevard, Paradise Road is relatively empty, hence offering ample space for the work at hand. Several empty lots along the route have been repurposed to support the construction of this tunnel. Let's go for a quick sightseeing using Google Street View. Here, at the 4300 block of Paradise Road, just behind the Embassy Suites Hotel, there's a large empty lot filled with boring company equipment. We can also see a conveyor belt that moves material excavated by the tunnel boring machine. As the machine cuts through the earth, broken rock and soil are transported to the surface via this platform. The main boring company station at the convention center, with its vibrant lights and large underground setup, is where the new tunnel from the airport will connect. To make this happen, though, some major changes are needed. This likely means the boring company will have to pause operations at the station temporarily to bring in the new connector and expand its capacity. Currently, the LVCC Central Station has two lines for moving people, but soon there'll be four. One line will connect to the existing tunnels that go to South Hall and West Hall. Another will head to the new Encore Hotel. A third will link up with the airport, and the fourth will lay the groundwork for future expansion, with a new tunnel heading north to the Strip. This could end up being one of the most 
most complex projects the Boring Company has ever taken on. If all goes according to plan, the new airport connection could be up and running by 2025, but we'll have to wait and see how things unfold. Now, let's move on from Las Vegas and head to Texas, where we'll enter the Cyber Tunnel at Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin. The tunnel was finished in November. It was dug from Tesla's delivery lot, located on the far side of the highway, and runs under the road to the new southern extension of the Gigafactory. So beginning in 2025, most of this new space will be used for Tesla's Cortex supercomputer, but there's also a small section for the Cybertruck assembly area. This extension is just big enough to allow completed Cybertrucks to be driven into the tunnel, under the highway, and into the delivery zone. In this drone footage from Joe TM, you can see that Tesla is putting the finishing touches on the tunnel's outside entrance. They are building a metal structure above it, designed in the shape of a Cybertruck. At Tesla's Giga Texas factory, workers are laying down asphalt to create a smooth pathway for the newly built Cybertrucks. But it gets more interesting. These vehicles will drive themselves over to a large white structure, where the final steps of production take place. Here, each Cybertruck will receive a thorough cleaning, any final finishing touches, and a full charge before being prepared for pickup or delivery. Starting in 2025, this tunnel will become a key part of Tesla's production process, with Cybertrucks moving steadily through, and most likely driving themselves. After all, what's the point of building a cutting-edge tunnel if drivers still need to shuttle vehicles back and forth across the highway? But, it gets more interesting. Tesla has already begun testing its Cybercab on the Giga Texas property. This futuristic vehicle has no steering wheel or pedals, which means manual control isn't even an option. It's an impressive combination of Tesla's self-driving technology and the boring company's tunnel construction. This integration has been part of Musk's long-term vision, and now it's becoming a reality. If Tesla can prove that autonomous vehicles are safe in this controlled tunnel, it will make it easier to introduce fast autonomous driving on our very busy roads. Elon Musk's goal is simple. High-speed, electric autonomous vehicles traveling through tunnels, offering a faster and more efficient alternative to traditional road transport, with a focus on sustainability and urban mobility. But here's the bigger question. Won't this be more expensive than our traditional transport tunnels? And how long will it take? We all know how much Elon likes a good challenge. Well, with the boring company, it's no different. Elon Musk isn't just focused on digging holes for a faster transport system. He's determined to make the boring process itself faster and cheaper. Let's take the Central Artery Tunnel Project, commonly known as Big Dig, for instance. This is the largest transportation tunnel in the United States, and it took over a decade and a half to finish this monumental project. But here's something even more alarming. While the original estimated budget was $2.8 billion, the project concluded in 2007 with its final cost exceeding $8.0 billion. That is more than three times the allocated budget. Adjusted for inflation, this amounts to approximately $21.5 billion today. Now, this is another problem the Boring Company has set out to resolve while giving even more quality. Traditional tunnel boring machines, TBMs, are usually massive, slow, and expensive. It can take years to dig just a few miles of tunnel, and the cost often runs into the hundreds of millions and sometimes even billions. In an attempt to solve this problem, Elon Musk has reintroduced what we know to be the fastest boring tunneling machine, Proofrock 4. This machine isn't just faster, it's smarter. Proofrock 4 can tunnel at a pace of up to one mile per week, a huge leap forward. But Musk's not stopping there, as the boring company is currently designing Proofrock 5. His goal is to push this to seven miles per day, a speed so fast it could change the entire landscape of infrastructure projects. But speed is only part of the story. Proofrock 4 is built to be efficient, with 797,000 pounds of thrust and the ability to tackle tough rock and soil. It's designed to be deployed quickly, reducing the time needed to prep a site and get the machine up and running. This means projects can start faster, and they can finish faster too. Musk's vision is to slash tunneling costs by up to 90 90%. Think about how the price tag for building tunnels could come down, making it easier to build the infrastructure we need for the future. But this is no longer a dream. It's actually happening. Take the Las Vegas Convention Center loop, for example. It's a small project compared to what Musk envisions, but it shows what's possible. Where traditional tunneling would have cost millions and taken years, the Vegas loop was completed for a fraction of the price, thanks to Proofrock's speed and efficiency. This isn't just about making transportation more efficient, it's about making it possible 
possible on a larger scale. Looking ahead to 2025, Musk has big plans. If Proofrock 4's speeds can hit the 7 mile per day mark, the impact will be huge. Not only will we see faster construction times, but the potential to build entire underground cities or transport networks could become a reality. In the coming years, Musk's tunnel boring revolution may just turn the slow, expensive process of digging tunnels into a thing of the past. And that could change everything, how we move, how we live, and how we build.